Good morning. I am Professor Ablokita Agrawal, Associate Professor at Department of Architecture and Planning, IIT Roorkee. The course that I am going to float this semester is called Architectural or Engineering Graphics Part 2. As the name suggests, this is the second course in the series. The previous course, the course before this, was named Architectural or Engineering Graphics Part 1. In Part 1, we had completed orthographic projection and in this course, which is Part 2, we are going to learn about how to draw isometric drawings. This is the second course. There is no prerequisite of the first course and this course is a very, very basic course which any architecture or engineering student can opt. It is a very, very fundamental course which almost all engineers and architects require because we are required to draw, to design and then also communicate those designs which we have conceptualized in our head onto the paper and to give it to a team who can then materialize it, who can then construct it. So when we are talking about architects or engineers, we are perceiving buildings and large structures like dams or maybe mechanical engineers might be talking about small parts like an engine design or there are several other such things which we might have perceived in our head, but how do we communicate it to the uh, other person and how will it get manufactured, constructed? That is where this language, communication language, which is graphics, engineering or architectural graphics is required. Now what happens when we are doing that in that process is, we learned how to draw orthographic projections. So as an engineer or an architect, I might be knowing about what this design looks like and then I might have converted it in the form of orthographic drawings, which is a 2D representation. And what does it require? We look at this 3D object we perceive and then we are seeing it from any one side. Maybe we are looking at it from the top or the front or the side and whatever is seen in a 2D is what we see as orthographic drawing. Now, it is not very easy for everyone to perceive it very conveniently. We have to one, look at all the three drawings, orthographic drawings simultaneously together. Even then, we might not really be able to make a sense how this object really looks like in 3D. This is something this isometric drawing helps us to fix. We can very conveniently perceive what this object look like in three dimension. So this is a three dimensional representation of the same object which we have constructed through orthographic projections or orthographic drawings. But it is not just visualization aid or a technique. It is also a drawing with the help of which we can measure. So it is a scientific process of drawing an object in three dimension, which enables us to view it, visualize it, and at the same time, measure it. So, but however, before we actually learn about isometric drawings, to make an isometric drawing, we have to know how to read orthographic drawings. So while I say that there is no prerequisite, anybody can understand it, still it would be better if you go sequentially and you have gone through the course one of mine or some other uh, source, you have already learned orthographic projections or orthographic drawings. So you can read those orthographic drawings and then we can convert them into isometric drawing. This would be an ideal process and this is what we are going to do in this subject. So if you are an engineering graduate or an architecture student, anyone can opt for this course. Preferably the early students, the early years, first year or second year, it will be more apt to go through this course. But again, there is no prerequisite and there is no time bar. You can visit and you can be benefited from this course. So I hope you will join this course and you will find this course fruitful and helping enough. Thank you very much. See you in the course. Bye-bye.